Hey guys, uh, Blast here. Um, I'm going to do something a bit different today. I'm going to do a top 10 list. Uh, I'll probably do more of these in, a few, in the future, whether it be about certain lists or just things that I like, you know, like my opinion, like today's video. So I probably, you should probably know my first video on this channel is the Metallica Iceberg. And I have a few of my opinions in there. Some of them are kind of old. Some of them I have just new perspective on. But um, to get things out of the way, I just want to, you know, do my top 10 Metallica songs of all time. So this video is sort of like filler uh, for um, uh, the Megadeth Iceberg Part 2 that I'm working on. That will be released hopefully by this Friday, but it's 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 a lot and then I've been busy. So um, I'll hopefully, hopefully it'll release by Friday. And this video will be on Monday, so I'm sorry for last week, I just, I... I just lost track of time, I guess. So uh, please forgive me for that. So without further ado, let's start off the list. At number 10, I have the song Disposable Heroes for Master of Puppets. Disposable Heroes is like, it's an amazing song. It has a really good starting uh, starting uh, riff, and then it just kicks off into the song. It's about, um, it's anti-war, about uh, young soldiers being sent to the death, hence the word, or hence the name, Disposable Heroes great song at number nine i have fight fire with fire which is the opening track to their second album ride the lightning fight fire with fire sort of it talks about the fear of nuclear warfare hence fighting fire with fire it's um a very haunting song lyrically but it's super fast and just pretty it's it's, just, it's a great opener probably my favorite opener out of any metallica album very underrated as well at number eight i have one which is from the album and justice for all one is a very special song to me not only is it like the like i want to say the first song that got me hooked onto metallica but it's also like it's heavy lyrically and uh, the music video it's just it's it's iconic probably my favorite music video of all time at number seven i have the four horsemen from uh, their first album kill em all so, well, I said before, one is sort of the album that kind of cemented Metallica as like being one of my favorites of all time. The Four Horsemen is what introduced me to that, or, or at least reintroduced me to it, because my mother was a big Metallica fan, and she showed me one when I was little. But when I discovered Four Horsemen in the movie X Men Apocalypse, it like got my attention, and I ended up going down the rabbit hole of discovering what that song was from, which introduced me to Metallica, which introduced me to Iron Maiden, to Pantera, to my taste of metal music that I have today. So, awesome, awesome song. At number six, I have The Shortest Straw, which is also from Justice For All. And uh, just to uh, point, put that out there, Justice For All is probably my favorite Metallica album, only because it's like the heaviest the band has gotten, or ever gone, basically. Well, I mean, it's arguable, but in my opinion, Justice is the heaviest album for Metallica. Anyway, Shortest Straw, very heavy song, amazing riff. It's almost like groovy or almost... You could argue even new metal-ish, sort of, and it's just, it's a fantastic song, great song. At number five, I have Fade to Black, another track from uh, Ride the Lightning. Fade to Black is more of a ballad kind of song, but it ends off really, like, thrashy. Uh, it's a song about suicide, which is, um, the song is important to a lot of people, including myself, and it's, uh, a really powerful song it's like i want to say it's like maybe top 10 top 5 metallica song of all time which is why it's my it's number five in my list so at number four i have jump in the fire which is also from kill em all jump in the fire is an amazing song it's a song about hell and it's just it's dun 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 dun, dun. it's just very jumpy it, it's, you could dance to it practically i've danced to it before it's a great song so she's the second record goes dun 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 just oh my god amazing awesome 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 I'm, I'm, I'm calling all the songs awesome but i'm running out of words to use it's uh whatever at number three i have the thing that should not be it's a pretty heavy song from uh master of puppets um strangely underrated the first time i heard about it was on the radio and i knew it was by metallica and it just took me a while to get to it, but when I eventually found the song, it was I was blown away, dude. Um, <clears throat> it, the song seems to be about like uh, a Lovecraftian tale. Which one? I did, I didn't go into specifics, but if you could let me know in the comments down below, that would be great, and I thank you. 
and um, I'm running out of words to use, so I'm not going to say awesome this time. I'll call it uh, epic. Do people say, still say epic? At number two, I have The Harvester of Sorrow. It's probably my favorite. Well, yeah, it's my favorite song from uh, Justice. It's an amazing song. It's, it's just, oh my god. I, can, I can't just get, I can't get over that album. It's just, it's, it's heavy. It's Metallica and just, oh my god. <laughs> you can tell I'm running out of things to say. So, um, yep, I like it. Yay. And at number one, my favorite Metallica song of all time is Creeping Death from Ride the Lightning. So Creeping Death is an amazing song that starts off really strong. It also tells us the story of Exodus of Moses trying to save the Israelites from the Egyptians uh, and God helps him by uh, sending, sending the plagues and I think that's an amazing story I grew up watching Prince of Egypt I'm also a Christian so it's just, it goes hand in hand you know it's, it's my thing dude it's so good amazing song so um, yeah that's my top 10 metallic songs of all time what are yours uh, let me know in the comments below uh, if you liked uh, leave, leave a like if you want to hear me talk more awkwardly about stuff that I like, subscribe, uh, click the bell for notifications when I do eventually upload. And like I said, I, 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 you know what? No more trying. I promise you that the Megadeth Part 2 will come out on Friday. That's a big promise. So I'm recording this as of, is it Saturday or Sunday? As of Friday, February 16th. So... By next Friday, I'll have that video out to you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.